Hello friends, here is Hesmit Tutorials and in this video I'm going to show you how to make a 3D cube in Adobe After Effects like that. Yes, good. Um, yeah, let's start at first open. Oh no. Uh, at first we have to make a, a square file um, yes wait for example in GIMP 600 by 600 pixels a square picture not a square file <coughs> here okay let's start at first file new 600 by 600 600 and okay you got this you can color this with a uh, yes with a light and mm, with a pink yes no that's really gay good now go to file save as untitled point bmp bitmap on the desktop and save save good you can close this um, now we got this here and now drag and drop it into after effects good now make a new composition um, yes that looks good and at first make a new solid yes and now go to effects and presets to make it look better and type in ramp double click on ramp <coughs> now go to animation preset and go to vignette lightning Use a nice color, for example, a really dark red, and blend with origin. Bring it up a little bit, and now we can make a new oh, layer, new camera. Yes, um, and now a new layer and null object. For example, if you want to make a nice camera movement. And now we can make the null object a 3D layer. Only click in this little box here. You can see now the axis. X, Y, Z. And yes, we have to parent the camera with the null object. Only uh, take the pick whip here and bring it up to the null object and okay now we'll take the uh, the square picture and into the middle only mouse in the middle and we have this now only make it a 3d layer and now we have our first um yes you can see this as 3d and we have our first side of the cube and ok now take a second again in the middle we make it a 3D layer and now we take the rotation tool here and we want to rotate it on the Y X only click to the Y X here and we can rotate it Rotate in rotate at 90 degrees. You can go into rotation, press R, and you see it here. The Y rotation. This is X. This is Y. This is Z. Uh, it's 90 degrees. And now go to the selection tool and move it a little bit. But how to get the right pos position here? You can, yes, this looks good. 
and now uh, here in the active camera go to front front and you can see this and oh no go to top yes I'm sorry now you can s can see here our first side and here's our second side and now you can move this But this isn't right here. You can click uh, to the uh, second uh, press P to bring up the position. And you can move it. Yes, 340. And now move it here. Yes. Good. And now you can see we have a nice edge here. And do the same things with the next four layers. And let's do that. But we don't have to rotate this. We only can go in the uh, top view. And click on that. Make it a 3D layer here. and bring it up press P good we have a second edge here and now again go to the active camera the next side Rotate it 90 degrees. Oh, 3D layer. Yes. Good. And yes. Now go to the top view. Sorry. And now move this again. Go into the position. Mm. Good. And you see the four sides make a nice square here and now go to the active camera and again a new side but this time we have to rotate it on the X X yes X X and this is this X here oh no not the position um, yes bring up the rotation press R And we have to bring it to uh, 217 here. Mm. Yes, this looks good. And now again, top view, and you can see our layer here with the white color, the, the light and blue. And move that. Yes, this looks good and now you can duplicate this. Now we go to the active camera and the duplicated layer. We can bring down. And yes, well done, we got our cube. And now we can move the camera 
here go to the unified camera tool and we can rotate all that shit and you got a nice cube yes thank you for watching